Monastery of the Holy Trinity is an Orthodox male monastery uh, and uh, it's one of the 61 mature monasteries for this time. So when you climb up to the plateau, uh, you should turn right uh, the resurrection uh, to the Holy Trinity Monastery and St. Stephen's. And if you turn left, there is uh, Rosanna Monastery and Grand Meteora. So on the plateau, on the top of the plateau, there are four monasteries. So uh, the monastery itself is located on the separate rock, middle size, uh, not so big, not so small. Uh, there are <laughs> exist more smallest monasteries. Uh, initially, when you come, you see a cable car and you think, oh, poo, very good, now we can move <laughs> to the monastery and we'll spend uh, five minutes or three minutes, but forget of it, because uh, this cable car is only for surface purposes and for ordinary tourists, <laughs> it's forbidden to use it. <laughs> so you need to walk, yeah. And uh, here is the top of this rock where the monastery is located and from the left side there is a deep canyon <laughs> which you need to cross to reach the monastery. So uh, uh, you need to go down approximately 200 meters and all the time you see the monastery over your head, yes, and then maybe 100 meters to climb up and of course you need to do the return way. Uh, my advice uh, come here at early morning for example this video was made around 8.30 uh, and even uh, there is a shadow still yet <laughs> because uh, when the sun uh, will be more higher shadow uh, will disappear usually yeah. <laughs> Uh, and be careful uh, to walk with adults and uh, with children also because uh, uh, as I said as I say the way is not easy so uh, now you need to climb up to monastery itself go 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 <laughs> and yeah you can cable car over your head sorry you can you cannot use it and uh, there is a pass which we uh, uh, use now <laughs> you see the road <laughs> and uh, this is opposite way you need uh, on the opposite way you need to go back the same route so it's a little bit difficult uh, what you can see here there is some special lifting device uh, you see a hook I think they with this rope they climb uh, up uh, some goods uh, there is some colonnade room or colonnade hall and here is the entrance to the uh, Holy Trinity Church. Yes, here is. Uh, generally, uh, there is no reliable evidence uh, about the date of foundation of this monastery, but one of the unconfirmed translation uh, texts uh, that uh, Translation testifies that the monastery was founded by the monk Domitius in 1438. However, there is a historical mention of the monastery of the Holy Trinity along the, with the monastery of Megala Meteora, Big Meteora, dated 1362. So, maybe this monastery was founded 100 years before. Uh, now the monastery, uh, com monastery complex consists of a chapel, balcony, castle, an altar, uh, monastic cells covered with the low walls. Uh, when you uh, exit uh, the church, there is a pass uh, to their observation desk. I can say, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, there is a cross and observation desk to the K Kalambaka city. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, be careful if you are traveling with children because there is a fence but not so high <laughs> and to go down you see uh, the deepness of this canyon <laughs> I don't know how many meters maybe 100 maybe 200 meters so Holy Trinity Monastery